Hello teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson on problems and possible remedies for the industrial sector. Students, I hope you've learned about the performance of the industrial sector in your previous non-plasma lesson. We discussed the performance of the industrial sector in light of measures such as gross value of output, value added at factor cost, and value added at current market prices. Our lesson today focuses on two important issues of the industrial sector, that is, problems of the sector and possible remedies for the problems of the sector. Let's start the lesson by asking you a question. Discuss the question with your classmate sitting next to you. Now the question is, what are the major problems of the industrial sector in Ethiopia? I hope you've identified some of the major problems of Ethiopia's industrial sector. The problems of the industrial sector are related to finance, technology, market, policy, input supply, and socio-economic factors. Students, Let's start with finance as one of the major problems of Ethiopia's industrial sector. Shortage of finance is among the leading bottlenecks for the industrial development in Ethiopia. However, shortage of capital arises because the subsistence and underdeveloped agricultural sector has not been capable 
of generating sufficient surplus capital to the sector. The manufacturing sector is underdeveloped and utilizes too much foreign exchange. Formal lending institutions require too much collateral. Students, we discussed that lack of capital has been one of the bottlenecks to the development of the industrial sector. Now, I want you to personally suggest a strategy to overcome this problem. What do you suggest should be done to address the financial shortage? Students, the government has introduced different policies and strategies that help to address problems associated with shortages of finance in the industrial sector. The strategy includes increasing inflow of foreign capital or save the available one. Among the policy measures taken to solve the financial problems are implementing ADLI to foster smallholder farming and commercial farming, implementing export promotion strategy to generate surplus capital for the industrial sector, focusing on expansion of labor intensive industry strategy, direction to decrease foreign capital dependency, strengthening the partnership between domestic and foreign investment to make use of the huge capital and strong foreign market network of foreign investors. Now, let's discuss the marketing problem of the industrial sector as availability of market 
is crucial for the development of the industrial sector. According to the 2000 report of the Central Statistical Agency, or CSA, market-related problem accounted for 39.5% of the underutilization of the capacity observed in the large and medium-scale manufacturing industries. The major causes of the market-related problems include weak domestic demand for manufacturing products due to low purchasing power of the agricultural sector, lack of marketing information both on local and export markets, low competitiveness, consumer bias against local products, that is, most consumers wrongly think that local products are not of good quality compared to imported products. Students, I want you to jot down some possible policies and strategies that could be applied to elevate the shortage of market to manufacturing products. Do the activity in groups. Students, let's point out some of the strategies that are designed and put in place to address the marketing problem of the industrial sector. These strategies are closely related to strategies introduced to address lack of finance. The policy measures include increasing the incomes of domestic consumers, increasing the productivity of commercial farming. 
the government creating market creation services. Using labor intensive technologies to be more competitive. Creating awareness about the supply and quality of domestic products. We should all buy domestic products and encourage other Ethiopians to buy products which are produced in Ethiopia so that we can create large domestic market. Imagine if each Ethiopian buys a pair of shoes which are made in Ethiopia. The annual average quantity of shoe demand will be over 80 million. And this is a considerable domestic market for the shoe industry. Students, let's discuss the technology related problems. Technology refers to the available information and skills or practical knowledge to combine production inputs and produce products. Choice of combinations to produce an output depends, among other things, on the technology set the country has. The technology related problems include lack of technology itself, lack of enough information on appropriate technology mainly due to the shortage of local institutions involved in technological support services. Students, let's see the technology related problems and their implications in more detail. Firstly, the technology we have today is not developed based on available local raw materials. And this limits the linkage between the manufacturing sector and other sectors that supply domestic inputs. Secondly, the technology we use is capital intensive. As already indicated in Adli, this is not recommended for economies like Ethiopia, where labor is cheaper and unemployment is rising. Moreover, there is lack of skilled manpower to operate and spare parts for the machines are very costly. Students, we are left with some other problems that can equally hinder the performance of the industrial sector and also results in fall of foreign reserves. These problems are input related problems, policy problems, and human resource related problems. Input related problems include poor quality of domestic inputs, high cost, and shortage of foreign exchange for imported inputs. Students, did you know that the Ethiopian government has introduced some strategies to reduce the problem? These strategies include the expansion of manufacturing industries that relies on the use of agricultural outputs as inputs, improving the quality and reliability of domestic inputs, expanding technical and vocational education and training to address skilled man shortage, admitting more students in science and technology studies in universities and increasing the technical capabilities and competencies of policy makers. Students, before we wind up today's lesson, let me remind you of the main topics of today's lesson. Today, we discuss the factors that limit the performance of the industrial sector. These include shortage of finance and market, technological and input related problems. We also identified possible remedies for these and other problems. Students, with this we end today's lesson. Next time, I'll come with a new lesson on service sector in Ethiopia. Until then, goodbye teacher, goodbye students. Thank you.